park day out here. People actually playing and utilizing the park space. What's up? Well, good morning, Lionhearts. Your old pal, Jordan the Lion. Hope you guys are doing great today. I don't really know what we're going to do today. I want to try and mail out some postcards because I'm getting out of town here in a couple of days. So I want to get that done before we go. And I haven't really thought about what would I like to do today. The weather, the last, I don't know, three or four days has been so unpredictable. You don't know if it's going to rain or if it's going to be sunny or what it's going to be like. So I just decided I would wait until we kind of started the day and I would just go with the flow. That's cool with you guys. Days with Jordan the Lion. Where's my finger going? And that guy begins now. No worries, I was just doing your introduction. I was just introducing you. Looking at me like I'm crazy. Oh, you know what? I will say this. I fell down the rabbit hole the other night watching something new on Netflix called Evil Genius about the pizza bomber, the pizza delivery bomber when they put like the, the handcuff bomb around his neck. Highly recommend it. One of the best things I've ever seen on Netflix. I highly recommend it. I mean, I'm a huge documentary fan to begin with, but this was super well done. Gotta give props to it. Ready for the ball? Let's go get it. Aren't you gonna play with your friends? You had a good chase going there for a little bit, buddy. See, they're chasing the ball. Fight! Ja, wrestle! All right, we are out of here, and I think I know what I want to do today for the vlog. All right, gang, we're gonna go hike to the Pilgrimage Memorial Monument. I've never actually done this hike. I've only ever seen it from the street, so we're gonna go see it now, and it has a crazy story. This is gonna blow your mind, so stick with me on this. Now, some people might know this better as the Hollywood Cross, or even the floating Hollywood Cross, because in the evening when the lights are on, as you drive up the 101 freeway, this cross appears to be floating in midair. Not bad for some gas station roses. I mean, literally, gas station roses. There's the 101 there. Check out this lift car. License plate says Bugly One. Interesting. I feel like it should be in a movie, shouldn't it? Well, holy cow, I've never seen this place before. I just ran into this on my way. Look at that. <laughs> the directing uh, clapboards and the, the ticket stubs and everything. That is awesome. The Oscars. Wow. Well, hello. That whole branch just broke right off. Look at that. Crazy. Wonder what caused it. Now the memorial that we're gonna see today is actually the wish or the vision of a woman named Christine Wetherill Stevenson. She was a socialite who was the heiress to the Pittsburgh Paint Company fortune. She moved to Hollywood and she wanted to create a theater here that this story somehow, and I'm gonna tell you as we get up there, ties into the Hollywood Bowl, the John Anson Ford Theater, and this monument. Oh, look at that. I wonder if Rick and Sandy are still together. It says, uh, looks like 6-5 or 6-1-76, so that's been there a while. Rick and Sandy, if you watch this channel, let us know if you're still together. Now, Christine was a massive supporter of theater, and she was actually credited in 1916 as being the first person, or the uh, person behind bringing the first outdoor theater production to Hollywood. It actually took place in Beechwood Canyon, and because of that, she wanted to build a theater that they could hold these all the time. Now, Christine became the president and helped found the Theater Arts Alliance, and together they partnered and purchased land in Bolton Canyon that became the land of the Hollywood Bowl. So that was the original plan was Hollywood Bowl was going to be her project. 
Now they did do two productions at the Hollywood Bowl. However, the Bowl Planning Commission, the Theater Arts Alliance, wanted to expand the type of themes that they were doing there. And Christine didn't like that, so she basically took her money and she bought a giant piece of land right across the street and opened her own theater there. Now this theater that Christine would build would become known as the Pilgrimage Theater. You see, Christine's plan was always to do nativity type plays or religious based plays, so she would keep with that theme with her Pilgrimage Theater. And now I guess we start heading up here. Oh, that's cool. Check that out. Check that one out, too. What a great neighborhood, huh? That is a beautiful house. You can tell we're getting close, right? And actually, there it is. Oh wow, what a cool house, right? Dang, that thing's beautiful. Look, there's a little guest house over here too. Okay, add this to the list of some of the most beautiful places I've seen in this area. So cool. Kinda reminds me of Capri. Now you can see the cross right there. In 1922, Christine got her theater built and always had a plan, a dream, of erecting a cross right above it. However, unfortunately, she untimely passed away in 1922 and her theater that used to sit on these grounds burned down in 1929. Now to give you an idea of how close the two theaters were, I'm standing in the parking lot of where the Pilgrimage Theater was, and right directly behind me, that is the Hollywood Bowl. That's the entrance and the sign for the Hollywood Bowl on the other side of this freeway. Now I have walked all around this property and I can't find an official or safe trail that looks like it would be okay to take. I don't know if that would be considered trespassing or not. So I'm a little concerned because I can see the, the cross, but I also see, and you might notice it, there's a shack up there with, uh, with cameras. So I don't want to get any trespassing charges. So I'm going to find the best angle to show you the cross. I brought all my lenses. And I'll tell you more of the story up here. Now this is the direct on property where the Pilgrimage Theater was replaced. Now this cross has a real significance to Los Angeles because for many years this was on the seal of Los Angeles County. They used it here to represent the missions and the reason this cross was even put here was in memory of Christine. The Theater Alliance, after she passed away, decided to erect this knowing that she wanted it there, but also um, they wanted to use it for, um, the Hollywood Bowl would always have a, an Easter ceremony and they thought this would be um, a great cross for everyone to look up to during the Easter ceremony. However, you know, in the 2000s, the early 2000s, people started complaining about um, the cross being on the seal and the religious aspect and it was always meant to not really reflect Christine on the seal, obviously. It was more to reflect the importance of the missions in California and the missions around here. But they ended up removing it, so it's no longer there. But the other crazy little story about this is there was a best-selling author who does mostly astrology named Linda Goodman. And Linda Goodman was one day staying at the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel and was visited by a man named Nathan, or Natten, and he told her that there was a, that she would find her soulmate on this mountain 
and that there was a, a hidden secret here. She started investigating, investigating, and started getting all these visions and believed that the Egyptian deity Osiris's phallus was here. Now, the story is that Osiris and Isis, his, his sister, were lovers and that they were, in some aspects, considered like the the uh, the most tragic love or whatever, the, uh, the most bonded love of all time. And so, um, Osiris was killed, tricked at a dinner and chopped into 14 pieces and his sister went up and down the Nile looking for the pieces of his body to uh, put them all together hoping to reunite his soul and never found his phallus. Now some believe that it was eaten by fish in the Nile, as crazy as that sounds, but Linda started to believe that it was here, that it was underneath this cross and she just couldn't shake this belief. She invested a lot of money and that even had the top of the line science um, methods used to survey this mountain. She did everything you could possibly do without actually digging into the mountain and uh, found out that with her research that there, she believed there was a subterranean world underneath this mountain. She believed that there was some sort of structure or someone was under there, someone had lived under there, so there were tunnels, something. And her research, everything that she paid for, roundly supported that. No matter what method she used, they kept finding support for that. And so she spent a lot of her time believing that there, that phallus was under here. Now the, the miracle to this whole thing apparently was that Osiris' sister had a wooden phallus made and was able to conceive um, through that and then their child went on to kill Osiris' brother, which is who they blamed for killing Osiris. So it's a really crazy story, but she wholeheartedly believed and, like I said, spent a lot of money investigating and believing that somehow she can't explain how it would have even got out of Egypt or even made it off the continent and how it would have ended up here. But as of the 1990s, when she was told that, she wholeheartedly believed it. And they said every time she would come back to Los Angeles for anything, she would always stay in that same exact room at the Roosevelt because that room at the time had an unobstructed view of this cross before the Hollywood and Highland shopping plaza was there. And so she would stare at that cross believing that the soulmate of her life, apparently that phallus, I guess, which would have been her biggest accomplishment, believing, believing that it was there. She actually believed that Osiris was responsible for originally building the pyramids and that they uh, somehow toppled and then were rebuilt later. So. Pretty crazy story all combined into this, <laughs> this Hollywood cross. Now I just stopped some of the, uh, the county employees and asked if I could take a look at the seal on the side of their truck and the, uh, the cross was originally right here behind the mission. And I'll show you an old picture of that offline. I also just asked those guys if there was a uh, uh, official trail that I wasn't seeing or if, if they could point it to me and they said there actually isn't an official trail up there. They didn't know if it was off limits but they said people do go up there but there's not an official trail or anything. So somewhere in that mountain there is an Egyptian treasure, an Egyptian relic in there that nobody but she knew about. That's what I love about doing this daily vlog, I'm telling you. When I started the daily vlog, I set a standard that I didn't want to miss any days if I could at all possibly help it because I knew it would inspire me to want to find something interesting every day and I certainly, when I planned to do this, the whole reason I was going to do it was to mention that it had been removed off the seal. But as you do research and as you're looking for as much as you can find to make the best video possible, you stumble on even more and I love that, that whole part about Linda Goodman's um, belief and her research into that because I never knew that until today and I hope you guys found that interesting as well. Now do you want one more bit of craziness that goes along with this story? When Linda Goodman died in 1995, her family members and her friends and a lot of people knew that she had invested money looking into this and knew that she had been connected with the Hollywood cross and the hill and the mountain and all that research and yet where she kept all of the important papers and documents after she passed away we're missing 
and they've never been found and all of her research has remained at a standstill ever since. Well, do you think it's in there or not, guys? Do you think it's in this mountain? Do you think there's a secret passageway somewhere in here? Cool watchdog. What do you think? You think that just blew up on its own? Or do you think some of the class in this uh, this town now did this just uh, out of pure boredom? Yep, probably just spontaneously combusted, right? All right, I probably shouldn't, but I'm gonna do Subway today. Let's do some spell check here on Mary Tyler Moore and see if they got her name right. So far, the background looks all right. Yep, yep, I think they might have nailed it this time. I think they might have done it. Warren O'Hara? Yep, yep, they did it. Let's make our obligatory Trader Joe stop. A good way to go. Well, this is new. They change this chalk every once in a while, and this is new art. Well, good evening, my friends. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. What a weird story, huh? You would have never thought all that... It was connected to that peaceful sign sitting at the top of that mountain, but there you go. What you never know sometimes will surprise you. I want to thank Ann Leanham for becoming my newest Patreon. Thank you all for watching, and that's it. Have a good night. We'll see you all tomorrow. Good spot. Morning.